Hey y'all, my name is Leia, and I am the Disabled Reporter here on YouTube, on Instagram, and on TikTok. This is going to be my first sit-down video and the first video in my Diagnosis Discussion series. Now, some of the conditions that I talk about in this series are going to be disabilities. Some are going to be chronic illnesses, and some are going to be general medical conditions. The condition that I want to talk about today is biliary dyskinesia. But what is biliary dyskinesia? Biliary dyskinesia is the name for a condition in which your gallbladder no longer functions or it functions less than normal. Biliary dyskinesia is considered to be a functional disorder. A functional disorder means that it's observable that there is something going on, but doctors don't quite know what it is that's happening. Biliary dyskinesia is different than gallstones or other issues involving the gallbladder because in the case of gallstones or other things that can be diagnosed through an ultrasound where you can physically see the problem, and biliary dyskinesia it's impossible to see the problem, but it is possible to see the effects of the problem. Before I explain to you what biliary dyskinesia does to your body, I need to give you a little bit of an anatomy lesson. When you eat fat, your body has to break that down, and to break that down, your body uses bile, which is produced by your liver. However, if your liver were to continuously produce bile and not have any place to store it, you would have a difficult time eating fatty foods, which is why your gallbladder exists and your gallbladder stores bile. So when you eat something that is very fatty, your gallbladder releases this bile to help you break down something that's very fatty. Examples would be fried food or animal fats. This is why biliary dyskinesia is considered to be a disorder of the gastrointestinal system. One of the main symptoms that people with biliary dyskinesia first suffer is from pain. The pain is generally in the right quadrant of your stomach. And as the condition progresses, you can find it more and more difficult to eat fatty food. In my case, it's very difficult for me to eat foods that have animal fats. I seem to do okay with peanut butter, but I cannot eat any type of animal fat or it will make me extremely sick. I also cannot generally eat cheese or regular fat sour cream unless it's a very small amount. As I've said previously, biliary dyskinesia is distinctly different than other issues of the gallbladder, but the first test that you're going to get if a gallbladder issue is suspected is an ultrasound. This ultrasound will look for blockages, it will look for gallstones, sludge, anything that could be causing gallbladder issues. If one of those items is found on an ultrasound, that is the diagnosis, and the treatment will follow the diagnosis for that issue. However, those who have biliary dyskinesia have a normal ultrasound. This is because there's nothing physically wrong with the gallbladder. Next, you will be referred to a HIDA scan. A HIDA scan is basically a nuclear medicine scan where radioactive material is put through your body to measure your gallbladder. First, an IV will be placed. This IV is going to be how you are given the medicine that is being used in the test. You will be given a tracer and you will lay on the bed for an hour while a basically camera takes pictures of your abdomen. I will say that for myself, this was one of the most painful tests I've ever done, but that's because of the fact that I have a difficult time laying down on flat surfaces that are not padded. So for me, I had extreme pain throughout my hips and back. So when I say that I didn't feel a lot of pain, please keep in mind that I am a chronic pain warrior and I was dealing with other very severe pain that would have altered my ability to judge the severity of other pain. So during this first part of the test, which takes about an hour, you will be laying there, laying relatively still as they are taking pictures. Pictures are not taken continuously like they are taken later on in the scan, but it's still important to lay as still as possible. After your hour has completed, then the radiology tech will come out and administer another medication. Now the first medication, the tracer, went straight to your liver 
and then it collected in your gallbladder. So then the next medicine that they give will tell your gallbladder, hey, you need to empty, we need you to work. And I will say, this part of the test was so, so, so horrible for me. I know a lot of people experience pain, and according to the notes that I read after my scan, I did experience some pain, but what I remember is horrible nausea. My nausea was so bad that the radiology tech had to get me a cool washcloth to put on my head, and I asked to stop the scan because I thought I was going to be sick. This despite the fact that I had not eaten anything in 12 hours. During the HIDA scan, they are trying to measure how much of the tracer your gallbladder is able to eject. A normal person will eject at least 35%. In my case, I didn't eject any, which was a good indication to my doctor that my gallbladder was not working and in fact had not been working for some time. The only treatment for biliary dyskinesia is to remove your malfunctioning gallbladder. Now, as I said in the beginning, without your gallbladder, your liver just continuously puts out bile, which is why it's considered an organ that you can live without. But unlike removal of an organ like the appendix, which doesn't seem to have much of an impact, whenever you have your gallbladder removed, you will have stomach problems, namely a difficult time breaking down extremely fatty food, such as fried food. I don't know how much of an impact this is going to have on me negatively, since I already have a gallbladder that is not functioning. My gallbladder, when they tested it, was functioning at 0%. I would love to tell you guys in this video what it is like to have your gallbladder removed and what to expect, but my surgery is not scheduled until the end of the month. I will be taking y'all along with me and hopefully by the time you're watching this video, you will be able to watch it. You will find that the next video in this playlist is going to be my experience with my surgery. I hope you found this video on biliary dyskinesia to be very helpful for you. I will leave a link to a playlist called my diagnosis discussion series in the description below and in the card. Until next time guys, goodbye.